Hey everybody, Danny and Athena here from GeeksofDoom.com and we are going to be giving you a review of the new upcoming Stars series Heels. We got a chance to go to the 92nd Street Y last week for a special premiere uh, of the pilot episode, which was immediately followed by a Q&A with the almost uh, whole main cast, including Stephen A. Mel and Alexander Ludwig, and the showrunner and director of the episode. It was a lot of fun, and I'm excited to talk about it. What about you? Um, yeah, so it, like he said, it's on Stars. The premiere of Heels is Sunday, August 15th at 9 p.m., and we're going to tr try to keep this spoiler free for you. Review the show first, talk about the Q&A a little, that's it. They all die. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's not that kind of show. So, what's a heel, Danny? So, um, a heel is a shoe that women... Oh, wrong one. Sorry. Uh, she regrets marrying me. Uh, heels, I, as you could tell, if you didn't know, I am a massive wrestling fan. Been my entire life. Somehow she puts up with me. Uh, a heel in the wrestling industry is the bad guy. Uh, they call the good guys baby faces or faces for short. And the bad guys are heels. And this show is called that because the two central characters, the brothers, uh, are wrestlers in a small independent uh, Georgia wrestling company that was started by their dad. And they're, well, Stephen A. Mel's character is kind of running this federation on his own. His brother, kind of aloof in and out of the business seems like, uh, but he's the baby face, his brother, Alexander Ludwig's character. So uh, Stephen ML plays Jack Spade. He is the heel, um, but and he is also like the creator of all the wrestling stories. Um, what I liked about him, well, you know, Stephen ML is a take charge kind of uh, actor. So it is natural, it's very natural for him to be like, I'm the one in charge, and I'm not gonna listen to anyone. Um, but he really just, I mean, he, it looks like he listens to everyone except his l younger brother, Ace, who Danny says he was aloof. I felt like he kind of, he is a, a little bit immature, but he wants to be part of it more. Um, it's in this small town, um, fictional town of Duffy, Georgia. And you can tell that the, the, the setting is like gritty and you can tell that like they they need the money it's it's a constant like running through the show what can we do to make some more money be more flashy and stuff like that um uh michael malley is the showrunner and what i found very exciting well i love michael malley he was like the best dad in the world in glee yeah. um kurt's, Bird kurt's Bird dad Bird yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um uh he he talked at the end, but um, he said Michael Waldron wrote the show and Michael Waldron created the Loki series, which I loved and Danny mm, didn't love. <laughs> so that was kind of exciting for me. Um, other people in the cast were Allison Luff, uh, who plays uh, Stephen's wife. Um, and not Stephen's wife, Jack. Jack's wife. <laughs> Stephen Amell's character, Jack, Jack Spade. Spade. Yeah. <laughs> And we we were researching her. She has a um, she has a song in this, and uh, they they talked in the Q and A about how she's going to be doing a, a little more singing. She sings at the church uh, in this town, and we looked her up, and she's like a professionally trained Broadway singer uh, to the point where we might have actually seen her in Les Mis playing Fontaine. Uh, yeah, a, a couple of years ago, she was there in like 2016, 17. She's been in uh, Wicked. Uh, Matilda, uh, waitress. waitress. Yeah, she's really. And remember at the Q and A, they said they told her not to sing so well. Like, <laughs> she sounded great in the show, singing her song in church. But they, she said she was like directed to tone it down and not and not obviously not be a Broadway singer. Um. Okay. Uh, oh, and uh, the other main female character is uh, Crystal who's played by Kelly Berglund, who I saw in another star series, Now Apocalypse. And she's uh, she's going to be, in my opinion, she's going to be like the secret weapon of this show. Um, she's I, great. Yeah, I have a feeling she's going to end up kind of taking over this show as the season goes on. 
Uh, she plays the valet. Which I had no idea what it was. To, Although I did ask you afterwards, I was like, is it kind of like Miss Elizabeth? Yeah. And so. For those of you who are around uh, my age, specifically our ages, uh, Macho Man Randy Savage, of course, everybody knows him, even if you don't like wrestling. Uh, but him and his then wife, Miss Elizabeth, uh, you know, she, yes, a valet in wrestling escorts uh, the man to the ring. I even said to you on the walk back to the train after, it's kind of like a, you know, like if it was a male who escorted the wrestler, you'd just call him a manager. But when it's a woman, it's, oh, it's a valet. It's kind of, it, it kind of feels very old fashioned uh, terminology. And um, I mean, in the show, Crystal is trying to do a little more, be a little more, go into the guy's locker room and like, you know, she wants to get into wrestling and be into wrestling. And Kelly Berglund, um, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing her name right, did say at the Q&A that we're going to see a lot more. But that when she started the show, she really had no idea about wrestling and had to do a lot, a lot of research. For yeah. Uh, another member of the cast who was at the Q&A uh, was... Former NFL Super Bowl winner James Harrison, who plays the character of Apocalypse, he plays one of the wrestlers, one of like the uh, like the tight knit group that Jack Spade relies on in this tiny little federation. What is it, the DWL, the Duffy Wrestling League? I yeah. think it's called. Uh, and it, again, like I'm a big sports fan, like I have vivid memories of James Harrison. Uh, having a, a 100 yard interception return for a touchdown in the Super Bowl, a crazy play, and there he is on the stage, uh, and he's so just mad. Like you could just tell. Like uh, Stephen A. Mel and Alexander Ludwig are big guys, and he's double the size of them, maybe more. It, it's crazy. So what was funny about the Q and A is that um, he said he, of course, mentioned 15 years in the NFL. Um, also, he came up with the name Apocalypse, which was kind of awesome. Uh, he told the showrunner the showrunner what his name was going to be. They had a different name for him. <laughs> and he it's his first real acting gig. He had only started acting like a year before that. And then um, towards the end, he was asked what was harder, uh, professional football or pro wrestling. And what did he say? He said, oh, stop it. It's absolutely football. <laughs> Which everybody in the crowd laughed because he, you know, like his point, though, was 100% uh accurate in the sense that in pro wrestling yes it's 100 percent physical you know you could argue oh fake this or that but the physicality is real but if i go to body slam you you're jumping into it and helping me body slam you right. whereas in the nfl every move he's trying to do the other guy is physically trying to stop him and it was just really funny listening to him kind of like no 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 I, I played 15 years in the hardest, like, pro sports league. <laughs> Chill. Uh, that was pretty fun. But, you know, like, I, you know this, because we've, we've, um, we've actually watched WWE and uh, some of the other wrestling companies. Stephen Amell, uh, he's legitimately... He's won belts. He's yeah, won he's, <laughs> he's like a wrestler. He um, Now, obviously, he's an actor from Arrow. Uh, obviously, that's where most people know him. But... He had a major match at SummerSlam for the WWE years ago with Cody Rhodes. Uh, he then followed Cody Rhodes to... Uh, he, he he wrestled at uh, the, the All In show a few years ago, which was kind of like the birthplace of the now All Elite Wrestling. Uh, and he's remained close to Cody. Cody was in Arrow with him. So he's got like his feet in the wrestling business. Uh, so you know that he wanted to really, you know, pay the respect in this show uh, with his physicality. And he said he went through some real painful stuff. Like yeah. he legit broke his back yes. doing the, the first move that you see in the show. Yeah, and they said they had to finish doing it, uh, filming it five months later. Yeah. Um, uh, another, another thing, uh, Alexander Ludwig worked with Adam Copeland, who is Edge, my heart. Um, and so he went to him with all kinds of like, you know, what do you do behind the scenes? What would you do with this move? Uh, should I shave my armpits? And then the, um, the, uh, one who's running the panel, Jessica Shaw from uh -huh. a radio station, I think she, she was from Sirius. Uh, she was like, well, 
should you? And he said that Edge said it was a, a personal choice. Yeah. So that he didn't shave his armpits, but Alexander Ludwig did. So that's fun fact. Yeah. And for those of you who are wrestling fans like me, um, they are going to have more uh, wrestling connections. Uh, Pete Siegel, the director of this movie, has directed... Uh, I think he directed My Spy, which stars Dave Batista, Drax the Destroyer, former WWE World Heavyweight Champion. He, um, I believe they said he's going to be in season two, uh, but they said that CM Punk, uh, who, one of your favorites, yeah. who may be returning very soon to wrestling, we don't know, uh, oh, cool. but uh, CM Punk is in this show, he has uh, a We didn't see him yet. No, no, but uh, <laughs> he, he does show up later on as a, a very funny character. And Stephen A. Mel talked about how, you know, in shape and how, you know, smart of a guy he was helping them out with the wrestling. Uh, I believe that I heard Mick Foley's name. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, Mick Foley's dabbled in acting before. Uh, he's also a best-selling author, uh, aside from being one of the craziest wrestlers of all time. So did we tell them what the show was about? <laughs> it's about heels. Oh, it's about well, no, yeah. We heels. said it's two about brothers. The, yeah, heel two versus what'd you call them? Baby face. Yes. Um, uh, who are trying? Uh, you know, Jack is trying to revive this this wrestling company that his dad had. They apparently was very successful and had a big heyday, and he's trying to build it back up to that. And uh, so, I mean, basically, the first episode is just seeing those relationships and jack and ace really butt heads a lot and uh, it, it's funny because the in the show in 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 the wrestling part of the show jack stephen amell's character is the heel he's the bad guy uh alexander ludwig's character ace is the good guy but in Outside of the wrestling, they're You'll kind see. of Don't yeah. Tell them how. Well, no, it's not a spoiler, <laughs> but the you know uh, Jack. You see how the opposite. Jack is, is the family man. You know he's running this wrestling federation to put food on the table and to you know really bring like a sense of community to their small town. Uh, and 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 you could tell like my passion for pro wrestling was really. It, it really shined, it, it really helped this show for me because I, I got into all like the, the nitty gritty behind the scenes uh, wrestling parts of it. Whereas I think, you <laughs> I mean, I do love Stephen A. Mel and I do love Alexander Ludwig. I do have a small, like, I used to watch wrestling. I don't really watch wrestling anymore. However, it's, it's not just the two main characters that make like this i thought this the first episode was wonderful and that's usually not the case for first epi pilot first episodes of seasons you know usually there's a lot of exposition there was there's not a lot of exposition it's no. a lot of like dialogue and action and and all that kind of stuff so i really i know there's only eight mm. episodes for the season um so I guess they really want to make it count. And, like, I trust Mike O'Malley to, like, yeah. make a really good show. Um, and I'm just, I'm really excited to see what happens. They're, like, toward, the end is, like, so unexpected that you would never, ever think yeah. what's going to happen happens, like, at all. It's definitely, so, it's definitely uh, a drama that anyone can get into. I'm overhyping the wrestling part of it because I'm a wrestling fan. But you don't have to be a wrestling fan yeah, at all to appre it, to appreciate it. Um, it's it's like you know a, a movie like Field of Dreams. You don't have to wa you don't have to have watched a single baseball game in your life to enjoy that movie and get a lot out of it. There's a lot of like you know the small town family drama, the idea of getting out of the small town and escaping to the big city where you can make more money. That's all about being community. Yeah, uh, there's there's a lot of like you know community aspect to it. So there is a lot of really good drama that if you're just looking for a fun rated R drama on stars and it is rated R. So, yeah. Yes. So we are going to let our child watch this because she loves wrestling. Yes. However, I will warn you, episode one has one very short naked scene. So we will block the TV or fast forward or do something. Don't make that face. I mean, yes, we will. She's, 
She's seen we, worse in horror movies. No, no. <laughs> she's not going to see that. All right. She's not going to see the naked part of a star show. But it doesn't take away, like, the whole rest of it is totally family. There's curses, but every, every family curses and hears curses and stuff like that. Um, and yeah. as far as the chemistry of the cast, yeah. uh, it's, it's palpable. And uh, they did speak about it a little bit. Uh, <laughs> Ludwig joked that every time, you know, he felt the fireworks as soon as he met Stephen Amell. But also, COVID had a little bit, like, they were, uh, you know, filming during COVID. And unfortunately, four of the cast members got COVID but are fine. But the thing is, is that usually... Uh, I think it was Allison Luff who was talking about it, is uh, usually, uh, you know, cast, you go and you film, and then you go home to your families, or you go out, you know, home for the weekend, get on a plane, whatever. However, because of COVID, they only had each other. So if they wanted to either stay by themselves alone or go hang out with each other all the time. So they really, really became close as a cast, which I thought was fantastic and should be like the new norm for TV shows. You know, who cares about family, right? Um my take excellent show you definitely have to catch it you definitely have to watch it um Danny I, I, it. yeah i like i said i i was able to i, I think that there are going to be people who don't care about wrestling at all who just want to tune in to watch Stephen A. Mel yes. because you loved arrow or you want to watch alexander ludwig because you, you like vikings, vikings or <laughs> You just want to look at them because they're pretty. Pretty, pretty. Um, <laughs> but, and, and, and you want to just enjoy a new drama that's on a, a, a cable network. Uh, and Stars has a history of producing really quality shows. Yes, I mean, absolutely. one of our favorite shows is Outlander. Um, Vikings. Was, no, no, that's the History that's Channel. That's History Channel show. Oh, wasn't it Ash vs. Evil Dead? Oh, Ash vs. Evil Dead, yeah. Um, <laughs> the reason that we have stars was she for her to watch Outlander and for me to watch Ash vs. Evil Dead. And now for us to watch Heels. Yes. Um, One last thing. Mary McCormack wasn't at the uh, panel, but um, she is in it. And you said you knew her from stuff. She looked very familiar to me, but do you remember oh, what she's in? She plays Howard Stern's wife in oh, that's Private right. Parts. That's right. Yeah. I forgot about that. I mean, oh. granted, that movie came out, dear Lord, 25 she years so ago familiar, now. That's but, what I knew. But yeah, she, I'm sure she's another she, stuff. Yeah, she's, she plays like the... the. I'm totally shortchanging her career arena, by calling her... The arena Howard. manager. Yeah. She, like, right there... Would I, did I say that right? Because I don't know anything well, about Well, she's that. like the, the, the head of, like, once the show starts... You know, Stephen Amell is a wrestler in the Federation, so she's kind of the one that, like, puts the show together. Um, but, yeah, uh, really good drama, good characters, good writing, uh, lots of guest stars to look forward to. Um, what's his name? Chris Bauer, we didn't mention. Yeah, he's Cr in it. Chris Bauer, who you absolutely know. If From you True Blood. Yeah. Uh, he plays uh, Wild Bill. He was the heel to the Spade brothers' dad, who ran this federation as like the the lead baby face, and he comes back. He's made it big in like, I guess the WWE. Uh, I I think they mention the WWE by name as like the big leagues. Um, uh, his wife Laura Bauer created all the costumes. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, they mentioned that. Uh, Mike O'Malley, I think, mentioned that. But yeah. Uh, I, I think it's totally worth checking out. Um, I think your love of the show is going to only go up if you're a wrestling fan. But again, I don't think you need to be a wrestling fan to really enjoy this. Yep, that's all we got. That's all we, we didn't got. Really tell you much. Uh, I hope you August, tune in. August 15th, Sunday night, 9 o'clock, stars. Uh, check it out. Let us know what you think. Leave a comment below, and we'll see you very soon.